Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I'm going to be unboxing the latest Arrow Video 4K release of The Wolf of Wall Street. And I will briefly just share my thoughts on the 4K picture as well. I am a huge, huge fan of this movie. It's a very different type of Martin Scorsese movie. As a matter of fact, I think the cast might have broken a couple of times during the shooting of this movie. I suppose you can call it a real rags to riches kind of story of the life of Jordan Belfort. And I have to tell you, if even half of what goes on in this movie is actually true, there is something very wrong with that man. It has to be said. Uh, this is a prime example as well of uh, actors just firing on all cylinders. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is Jordan Belfort. In my opinion, I think he should have got the Oscar for this movie more so than The Revenant. Now, not taking anything away from The Revenant, I am a massive fan of that movie. I just found his performance better in The Wolf of Wall Street. You've also got Jonah Hill as Donny, and uh, another example of how good of an actor Jonah Hill actually is. Uh, really enjoyed him in this movie. You've got Matthew McConaughey as well, who probably makes one of the greatest cameos you will ever see in a movie. And I would have loved to have seen more of him in this movie. It's a shame we didn't get it. You've also got Kyle Chandler in there as well. And of course, you've got Margot Robbie, who is fantastic as well. And um, what an actor she actually is. I'm a huge, huge fan of her. Uh, as for the release, it's such a fun release. I think you're going to really love uh, what you see inside this. Uh, the minute the Arrow video announced, uh, announced this release and actually showed the pictures to it, I instantly pre-ordered it. It's something I knew I wanted for my collection. And uh, yeah, I had the biggest smile when I was actually opening this set. It really is a stunning release. As for the 4K picture, I don't think now Arrow done their own restoration on this. I think it is the universal one that they actually brought out. And for the most part, I actually thought the 4K picture looked great. It's a native 4K disc as well. And uh, it's a subtle difference over that Blu-ray. It's not what you call a major leap. But I think you'll appreciate some of the subtle differences you're going to see. There is an incredible amount of fine detail to be seen on this one. Uh, the Dolby Vision and the HDR colours look amazing. Again, they are the real winner when it comes to this 4K disc. Uh, I think you're going to love some of the colours that you're going to see in this. Black levels, absolutely amazing. Incredible shadow detail as well. And uh, yeah, all in all, I was uh, a massive fan of this 4K disc. Just don't expect a monster upgrade over that previous Blu-ray. And I think you're going to appreciate what you will see with this 4K disc. It's also got a DTS 5.1 audio. It's the exact same audio that we got on the previous Blu-ray. And for The Wolf of Wall Street, it's, it's fine. There's absolutely no problems with it. It sounds great. It really, really does. Right, folks. So right, I'm going to take us around this release and I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. I think you're really going to like this one. Right, so here we go, The Wolf of Wall Street. So as per usual, I have removed the J card. I will bring it in and uh, give you a close look at it. So as you can see, there's a, a lot of special features on this one, and I'm sure a lot of this is going to be new for The Wolf of Wall Street. So uh, really looking forward to uh, sitting down and checking them out. So uh, yeah, that's just a close look at your J card. Right, move that to a side, and let's get on with the release itself. So um, as you can see, this is the artwork that we all know and love for The Wolf of Wall Street. Um, you've got Leonardo DiCaprio there on the cover. You've got a big party going on in the background. And I have to tell you, is that cover just tells you everything that you need to know about The Wolf of Wall Street. It really is such a great movie. And in case you are wondering, it is another solid horror box from Arrow Video. And uh, yeah, really happy with the uh, the artwork design that they used for this one. I'm happy to stuck with the original. And uh, the Amore edition that you do get inside this as well has alternate artwork as well, which is always great. I do love that with Arrow Video. So uh, yeah, that is the main cover. And then I'll take us on to the spine of it here. And you got the Wolf of Wall Street in the middle there. You got Arrow on the top and Universal at the bottom. And then take us around to the back. Now, I have to tell you, the back is very boring. I think they could have done something there. Like maybe put a... Uh, Maybe just a simple dollar sign, anything, uh, but a plain orange background. I think that's just a little bit lazy on Arrow's par part. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that I missed opportunity. But uh, yeah, look, it's not going to take any uh, ruin my enjoyment of the actual uh, release itself. But um, it is a shame that they they didn't do a bit more to the back of it. Right, so that is the actual box itself. So uh, I will open it up, and uh, here we go. So, as you can see, this is done, the insert is done in the style of a wallet. And uh, I thought this was such a clever, clever design. And uh, I fell in love with it the minute I seen it. Now, the only thing I will say is, I was slightly let down because I actually thought they were going to use some sort of uh, imitation leather. 
but instead this is actually cardboard but even now as i look through looked look at this through the camera it does actually look like leather so it's a, it is very nice it has to be said so as you can see there you got the wolf of wall street written in gold you kind of got gold stitching going around it as well and uh, yeah very classy looking it has to be said and then this is the back of it so you have a zip there as well there's a bit of spot glossing going on in the zip there as well so yes i yes i think it is a very very clever design from arrow video and uh, yeah i was i i really do love it it's very very nice so uh, yeah that is the, the actual wallet itself so let's open it up <laughs> every time i open it i can't stop laughing that is that really is fantastic it's great it really really is so uh, you've got a small bag of cocaine there at the bottom right corner there's a bit of uh, spot glossing going on again so uh, you've got three kind of little inserts here. You've got one, two, and then you've got the the, the, the $100 note here as well. So uh, yes, I love that. I think that's great. So let's open it up. Uh, sorry, let's take a few of these items out and give you a close look at them. So uh, there you go. So you've got uh, American Excess. It looks like there's a kind of like a, a thumbprint there as well. I think you can make it out there. And of course, you've got Jordan Belford there written in the bottom. And then when you... Uh, take it around to the back you'll see there's a uh, jordan belford's uh, autograph is there as well so uh, that's a very nice touch that little card it really really is nice and it's exactly what you expect when you kind of open up a wallet so uh right let's put that back in and let's take out the next thing we have here so uh it is jordan belford's um business card so uh yeah very simple looking business card and uh, take it around to the back and you've got see uh send me this pen so if you've seen the movie uh, yeah, you'll know what they mean, which uh, you'll know exactly what that's all about. Sorry. So uh, yeah, that is the uh, business card. So I'll try and put that back in. Uh, they actually go in very, very easy. Uh, when I just when I say that now, it won't go back in. <laughs> right. So on to the the hundred dollar note as well. So you've got uh, Stratton Oakmont uh, Oakmont Oakmonting. Is that right? I think I'm reading that correctly. So uh, yeah, a hundred dollar note. And uh, I like the way it's kind of sticking out of the side of the uh, the wallet as well. It's a nice touch. And uh, that is the back of it there. So you have the Wolf of Wall Street and you got $100. So yes, uh, a simple little $100 note. <laughs> very, very nice touch, that has to be said. So uh, let me slide that back in. So that is everything that you get inside the wallet itself. And then we were going to go into the, uh, the sides of it here. So uh, I will take out... I'm going to try and take out the booklet first. And then I'll go on to the... Uh, the Amore edition of it if it actually will come out the booklet there we go and uh, wow that was actually hard coming out so as you can see there's kind of a, a money band kind of going around this booklet as well again another very nice touch so uh, let's open it up and I'm sure the booklet is maybe a write-up of the actual movie itself and maybe something in the back of it about the uh, about the restoration itself so that is the main artwork for it and then around to the back uh, there's nothing there again so open it up and there we go that's about to transfer so as you can see this is uh this was uh, a universal uh this was produced from universal sorry so arrow video have done uh nothing to the uh the actual transfer of uh, this movie uh, it's a strange choice that has to be said for arrow video i never thought we would actually see uh, the wolf of wall street but i think it's a welcome addition to the uh the arrow video catalog especially when you see the the kind of effort that went into this edition, uh, this set of it, sorry. So uh, that is the booklet that you get with it, and that, that the money band as well. So bring this back in, and we will go into the Amore release of it. So that is the artwork for it, and um, as a matter of fact, I'm almost certain I might have a steelbook with this same artwork. Um, as a matter of fact, the steelbook inside this set would have been really, really nice. Um, it's a shame uh, we didn't get it. So yes, very simple artwork on this one. Uh, take us around to the spine of it. And then to the back, uh, it's the same that I showed you is already on the J card. So open it up. Uh, you've got your Blu-ray disc there. And flip this over and that's your 4K disc. And then on the left side there, you've got uh, an upcoming title. It's uh, Horror from uh, Edgar Allan Poe. So that is everything that you get inside this release. Um, you know, it's it actually lived up to the pictures, it has to be said. Yes, granted, I thought that maybe this was going to be real, uh, well, not real leather, but some sort of imitation leather. But uh, a minor little gripe to such a fantastic release. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything inside this Wolf of Wall Street set. And like I said, it's a real fun release, and I would love to see more of that from Arrow Video in the future. Right, so as per usual, folks, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, and if you could do... 
leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie i really want to hear your opinions out there and uh, yeah i hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then i'll see you soon bye bye